Can you please comment the final verdict for General Zgotovina and Markac? I received the information this morning and uh, I was very surprised about it because uh, Gotovina and the other were uh, convicted and sentenced in first instance trial. So uh, um, a joint it was a criminal big, big enterprise or, rent, and, uh, or investigate crimes. Yes, I expect now to read the judgment to see Mr. exactly what, what was going wrong between the first Chandra instance and uh, the appeal. Do you think that with this final verdict, part, the justice the have been served? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, so without, uh, without having particular knowledge, I would say no, because um, I follow as prosecutor the investigation, the indictment and the trial against Gotovin and the rest and the trial against Gotovin. So I know that uh, uh, we collect uh, uh, evidences, and uh, and the the sign is that he was he was convicted first instance in the first instance trial. So uh, uh, as I said, uh, I don't know what happened between. I will. I will be, I will be ready to know exactly the uh, reading the sentence. Why did you insist on the charges of joint criminal enterprise in the indictment of Croatian generals? Because it was, because it was, uh, it was clear to, to, to that it was joint criminal enterprise. I don't know what it, what it fall down. And you know, what I'm thinking is about uh, the victims of this crimes, because crimes were committed, and uh, the victims expect justice, but now who will be, who will be the, the perpetrators from, for, for, for these crimes? I don't know. Do you still believe that Croatian military and political leadership planned a joint criminal enterprise at Brioni on the 31st of July 1995? Now I don't remember any more, any more the facts exactly, but uh, in the indictment it was a, a precise description of the of the facts. Do you still believe in excessive shelling of Knin? Yes, yes, as I remember, yes. Why do you think so? Because uh, we got enough evidences for that. Why didn't you indict top military leadership of Yugoslav National Army for what they had done during the war? I, I don't know what you are questioning about. Uh, we indict the high politically and militarily responsible for the crimes committed during the, the war. But... Why didn't you indict, for example, JNA for excessive shelling of Vukovar? Didn't you have enough evidence? It is uh, personal individual responsibility. You cannot, you cannot indict a unit or you cannot indict uh, an institution. It's a personal individual responsibility, and we have done that. But Belko Kadievich, for example... Yeah, but you know, we we could not we could not in, uh, uh, proceed against all because uh, uh, the mandate is was only the high responsible and and as you know, we were obliged to elaborate a completion strategy to reduce because now the national system must do the rest of the work. Who arranged with the Serbian politicians after Milosevic that written records from the Supreme Defense Council sessions will be treated as secret? Was it you or judges? Oh, I don't want to speak about that anymore, really. It is... <laughs> no, no, really. May we know why? Uh, just read the, the, the sentence of the of the court about we we oppose, we oppose against and uh, and the judges decided different. That's it. Do you still believe in international justice? Yes, I believe in international justice, but sometimes also international justice I have uh, committed errors. Can you tell us for for the end what do you do now? Uh, now I am um, I am uh, in pension, and uh, what I do now I am member of the Commission of Inquiry for 
the from the UN for Syria. So that's so what is I, ahead of you. Sorry. That is something. What is ahead of you? That is your next next task. That is my task now. Since September, I am appointed as commissioner for this uh, inquiry commission, UN Inquiry Commission for Syria. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Bye.